Welcome back to Pappy Tinkers. I've been experimenting with a new hobby of leather crafting. Making little things like a card wallet, practicing some stamping and stuff. Still working on getting better. You can tell that this isn't perfect by any means. And the stitches aren't quite as aligned that I would as I would like. So I bought a set of cheap punches off of Amazon. These are Askir. See if I can show you the name of it. There we go. And they come in a set of six, four, a one, and a two. And they're pretty decent and they're pretty sharp, sharp right out of the box. At least the points are. And it looks like it's polished on the edges too. But where they're not polished is on the inside of the flutes for example right here this one this four millimeter set I've already polished you see it comes in a nice little pouch there but there's a five millimeter set here that I also got and I haven't used yet This is going to be difficult to get in the detail, but along here you can see these little ridges. And what these ridges do, when you're going to try to pull the punch out of the leather, this is what wants to stick. So if we take a little scrap piece of leather, drive those in a little bit deeper and we're through there and we're through there you've got to really fight to get that these out and as you can imagine doing that even on something as small with as few as stitches as this that gets to be a pain in the butt real quick so I'm going to show you how to polish these up so that when you do that now this is the polished one drive that through just the same way see the difference on how that one came out that's because I've already polished these edges in here. I'm hoping the camera can pull this up. Now polishing metal might sound like it's hard but it's not really that difficult. So give me a couple minutes to set up and we'll show you how we do this. You don't need a whole lot to get started in getting these cleaned up. If you've got the small set of files, you can come in here. And as long as you've got a size 4 millimeter or 5 millimeter, you can take it in here. file will cut it pretty quickly. It is a little bit difficult on the smaller ones and in number three you're not going to get one in here. 
If you don't have these, that's no big deal. If you've got some sticky back sanding paper like this, and a coffee stirring stick or craft stick, you can lay it on the edge of the sandpaper like this. Take an exacto knife. And here we have a little sanding stick that you can get in fits nicely in the in the holes and you can get in there real quickly. And the nice thing about these is that you can go both ways where you can't with a file. It takes a longer, you'll have to do more strokes. but it goes pretty quickly and hopefully this is picking up the difference between the first tine and the second tine I'm trying to move it around where you can see where this one is now smooth and you can see the ridges the machine marks inside here where my fingernail is they're not bad, they're not coarse, they're not horrible. And if you're using a real thin leather like uh, uh, one ounce, two ounce, three ounce, you might not notice it, but once you get into the heavier ounces, you will definitely notice when you go to withdraw these, these pricking irons from your leather. Now as, this, as you're sanding on stainless steel, the sandpaper isn't going to last very long. So you'll have to replace it after every two to three times. And it's also important to realize that you're not just sanding one side, but like how we've got the two done now. If you can see it on this side, I still have the back side to do. Each one of these diamond shapes, they're four-sided diamonds, and you will have to polish two sides for each time. If you don't have access to the sticky back sandpaper, you can also use regular wet and dry sandpaper with the same kind of stick. I just take a little spray adhesive, squirt a little bit on the stick, and we'll lay this down the exact same way. Like that. And there you go, another little bitty sanding stick. Now what's the difference between this set and uh, 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 one of the Rocky Mountain sets? Price difference is about fifty dollars. I think I got these for ten ninety nine, maybe twelve ninety nine on Amazon. But the expensive brands that come polished all the way around can be fifty, sixty dollars or more. And for somebody that's just starting out in the hobby. Maybe you're not sure you want to stick with it or not, but you want to still make a couple things that look nice. And you want to spend a little money on tools, on, on the right tools, instead of just trying to 
hand poke every single stitch. Ten to twelve dollars is not a whole lot to invest. Oh, and in case I didn't mention, I'm sanding with 320 grit sandpaper. I'll go back over it with 400 grit before I actually do the polishing. But that's all that's really necessary. Back to what I was saying, if you want to experiment with the, the hobby, you're going to have to spend a little bit in tools, so not going out and spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars right in the beginning is certainly the way to start. And what I'm doing is no, no more difficult than... I mean, this is a skill level one type of thing. Anybody can hold a little piece of steel and work some sandpaper back and forth. This is not anything technical. I'm not even trying overly hard to make sure I keep the same angles. I'm not going to be taking off enough material to affect the shape of of the of the hole one of the things that I have found out with uh, leather working sharp tools are a, 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 are a must you gotta keep these babies sharp see in just those few minutes we've already got this one halfway done So I'm going to shut this off for a few minutes, do some more sanding, and when I come back, we'll head over to do a little, a little bit of polishing. Well, I've spent about an hour now, not quite an hour, sanding all of these, trying to get the little ridges off of the inside. And that's what the, the four prong, the one prong, the two prong, as well as the six. And they certainly look like they've gotten a lot more shine to them, a lot more gloss. But we want to get them a little bit better. So what we're going to do, we're going to put some rouge on the, my butt buffing wheel here. We're going to polish those up real quick and we'll give it another test. If you don't have a lathe to put this on, you can use a one of those buffing wheels that come with the Dremel tool sets that you never know what to do with. Most of the sets even come with a little, little uh, thingy of rouge just for this. The important thing to remember though is while you're spinning you want this spinning off of the point. You want the point facing away from you and you want so that if the wheel grabs it it's shooting it away from you not towards your body. If you do it like this it's going to get ugly. So make sure it's down towards the bottom. See if I can get this done before the dogs start barking. Put on a little bit of goop. Ah, oh, yeah, this is starting to look real nice. Let's 
do the others real quick here. That look, guys. I can't wait to test that out and see how much better that is now. Shining like diamonds. Shining like diamonds. All right, let's go find us a piece of leather to poke some holes in. All right, here we go. This same piece of leather as before. We're gonna go right next to the same old stitch, same holes that we put in before. Rap, rap, rap. Did you guys see that? Did you see how much easier this came out from before? Let me show you again. See, we're all the way through that one. All the way through this piece of leather. Easy peasy. Is that worth an hour's worth of work? And saving 40, 50, 60 bucks? Well, if you're on a budget like me, it dang sure is. Let's try this six one. Just cause. Just cause we can. Do that one and give it one more wrap. All the way through everything. All the way through that. Oh, you would not believe the difference. You would not believe the difference unless you already have a set from this brand. And they actually seem like a good set. But um, I'll go ahead and include a link to these down in the, in the description for the 4mm and the 5mm. Comes with a nice little pouch and a little carrying case. Spend a little bit of time cleaning them up, and you'll be good. If you don't trust me, try it with just one. Just do one. See the difference, and you'll go, oh, my God. All right. 
Time for the usual spiel of hitting the, smashing the like button and the subscribe button. And hopefully it won't take anywhere near as long for me to get this edited and then and the next video out to you guys. And hope to see you soon. Keep working on proje projects. This is Pappy Tinkers saying goodbye for now.